Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. I am so glad you're here. We're gonna be working on a super easy, budget-friendly DIY kitchen refresh. So, a couple weeks back, I went to Lowe's to pick up some materials for our building, and y'all know me, I like to browse the aisles <laughs> occasionally, and of course, I found some really great clearance. I came across these really inexpensive peel and stick wallpaper panels uh they're not panels they're just peel and stick wallpaper it doesn't come with a whole lot but for four dollars you cannot beat it and i have really been torn on what type of tile i want to use for the kitchen backsplash i just cannot make up my mind i'm extremely indecisive if you didn't know and i feel like using more of a peel and stick wallpaper or peel and stick tile is great for someone like me who can't make up their mind so we're gonna try it out see how it goes um i really love the shape of the tiles that are on this wallpaper so i think it's gonna look really good and i think it'll be a nice little refresh temporarily but i wanted to mention eventually down the line i do want to reconfigure our kitchen a little bit we want to replace the sliding glass door with a single door i've talked about this in a previous video um so i don't really want to spend a fortune on buying actual tile if this was how our kitchen was going to stay i wouldn't mind investing in tile but right now i know eventually we're going to be reconfiguring some things around to make the kitchen a little bit more functional for our family especially since we are staying here longer than we anticipated um so yeah let's get into it i'll show you guys the wallpaper i'll show you the tools and stuff that you're going to need it's pretty easy um but i think the biggest step right now is going to be cleaning i need to like wipe everything clean get all the counters cleared off so i can get started okay so before i start cleaning i wanted to show you a true before on what the kitchen looks like just in its normal state it's not super clean it's not messy really it's just lived in but you can see how the back um splash is not bright at all it's just very dark and dull kind of just all blends in together so i'm hoping adding this this wallpaper will just brighten up the kitchen make it feel like a whole new space i kind of wish that they had this in colors but you know when you find out on clearance you get what you get and you don't feel fit so anyway we're gonna get started I will have this wallpaper linked down below. Double check your Lowe's though before you buy it full price and see if they're on clearance because I know our Lowe's right now has all the wallpapers on sale. Once all the countertops were cleared off, I'm moving right into scrubbing these walls down and I'm just using hot water and Dawn to do this. You wanna make sure that your surface is grease free. Trust me, this peel and stick wallpaper will not stick if there is anything there. And I'm gonna be real, this wallpaper does not work the best on textured walls. And guess what? I have textured walls. So I'm gonna share with you a hack that helps hold it up in place. But before we jump into that hack, we gotta get it up on the wall first. So first step is taking off the plate covers off the outlets, and then we are gonna go ahead and get the wallpaper laid out, and we're gonna cut it and start sticking it up on the wall. Originally, I was gonna go through and measure out each outlet and like cut it and then stick it up, but then I realized that this type of wallpaper, because it is so sticky, it's a lot easier to cut a full sheet hang it up like right over top of the outlet and then take a small razor blade and cut around but just remember when you are cutting around an outlet especially if the breakers are off y'all be careful don't go shocking yourselves because that crap hurts trust me i know i just got my butt lit up outside in our shed from our dryer I, li I thought I was going to die. I'm not even kidding you. I like screamed. My husband was out there. He's like, what's wrong? I was like, I just got shocked. What do you mean what's wrong? And I was so scared to even move. It was awful. And this actually reminds me of the time that I went up to my family's property and I thought I got struck by lightning. Listen, it was that. It was. <laughs> It's, not, it's really not funny. I laugh when I'm nervous, but, or like when I think of nervous things, I've always been that way. Ever since I was a kid, you know, like, listen, there's a lot of stories I could share that are really funny, but, um, anyway, I went up to my family's property and we were decorating early for my son's birthday and I had my camera battery pack and I went to go plug it in on the stainless steel counter, like plug in, there's like a plug in right there on the side. I went to go plug it in. Y'all, it shocked me so bad I couldn't let go. And I couldn't say anything. I couldn't, like, even speak. I was just literally just <laughs> getting roasted by this countertop plug. It was so bad. I called my husband. I was about in freaking tears. I was so scared to, like, I thought I got struck by lightning. I'm not even kidding you. It was just horrible. 
and I know it sounds so dramatic, but in the moment, I have health anxiety, okay? So anytime something help, like happens physically um, that can like harm you, I freak out. I'm like anxiety central over here. It's ridiculous. But I am proud to say after cutting out around these outlets, I never once shocked myself. I kept like every time I went to go cut, I was like cutting very softly. Like uh-huh, don't freaking put the razor blade up into the outlet on accident because you <laughs> Lord knows I don't think I could handle another shock right now. (laughs) I've been through enough. Also, let me just say, I'm probably going to regret this voiceover in the morning because when I do voiceovers this late at night, I get super giggly. Like, what the heck? I'm like a little school girl when you have a sleepover with your friends and you can't shut up. Like, that's me. Um, It's 12.52 a.m. to be exact, in case you were wondering what time it is here while I'm doing this. It's late. I'm tired, but I know that this is like, I gotta get this done. I've had zero time to work the past couple weeks. I feel like I'm so, I am so behind. There's like no denying that. I don't even, I can't even sugarcoat it. I've been putting editing on the back burner because I, like when I try to sit down to edit during the day, it's so loud in the house. The kids have their friends over and it's just like, it's chaotic. We are not on a schedule right now. I've been sleeping in until like 9, 30, 10, which is great. I love sleeping in. I don't know about y'all, but I, I love some sleep, especially in the morning. I don't know why, but I have a hard time sleeping at night. I've always, always been a night owl. And I think, I swear this goes back to back when I, like before I had kids, I worked overnight shifts. Oh my gosh, I loved it. I loved it. But I think it has truly messed me up for life. And you know what's crazy is I've actually heard other people who used to work overnight shifts say the same thing, that they are, that they still are night owls to this day because they used to work overnight shifts. And I did it for many years. I worked as an overnight manager at McDonald's. Oh my gosh, which was so much fun, by the way. I love that job. I loved working overnight shift. I will say that. I didn't like working during the day because people are just different. <laughs> when it comes to food, don't mess with people's food. Don't ever get in the way of someone's meal. I'm telling you, and don't ever screw it up because they people will literally try to hurt you over their food. Like, it's crazy. I can't even tell you how many times I got cussed out over a meal. Like, accidentally messing something up. Like, genuinely making a mistake. It's not like you purposely try to mess people's food up. (laughs) But anyway, that's a whole other story. But overnight, I never really got rude people. I got a lot of, like, weird folks. I'm telling like, people who would, like, scare you. But never never rude, never rude. I've always had nice people overnight and I always had regular customers too, which is crazy. They must have also worked overnight shifts. I don't know, but that's a whole story. I could talk about that for hours because there was a lot of good times. <laughs> Heck, even when I worked at Walgreens, I worked um, the closing closing shift at Walgreens too. And we would get off around like 12.45-ish. Um, they would close at, at 12, but you don't get to actually clock out till 1230 and then by the time you get everything done and most of the time we didn't leave there till like 1245. Um, but there, there was a lot of stuff happened there. I actually, I almost got fired, super duper fired. I got in so much trouble. Oh, I got quick changed. It was awful. But anyway, if you ever want to hear those stories, let me know. Maybe I'll like film like a cleaning video and do like story times or something. I think it'd be fun and interesting. I like, I loved like just kind of chatting about what I'm working on, but sometimes it's nice to switch it up a bit. So if you're interested in hearing any of my crazy stories from my past, let me know. Um, I have so much I could share, like, and sometimes I want to, but then sometimes I'm like, do I air out all my dirty laundry on the internet? Probably not. Probably not a good idea, but it's entertaining. (laughs) Anyway, I am still working on the peel and stick wallpaper. It's going smooth though. I got the one side done. I'm just finishing up this one little corner right here. And then once, once I got this side done, everything else was easy breezy. It just, it took me a minute to get going. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry, everything's the same We'll try tonight but This time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound
I did decide to go up and around the window as well just because I felt like it didn't look right the way that it cut off right there like in between the two cabinets in the window. I just I didn't like it at all. So I ended up piecing it together up around the window. Now it doesn't look bad this one spot all the way at the top is one full piece and then I had to put two pieces together on the sides and you can definitely see the seam. I'm not even gonna lie. Like it's very noticeable but I mean temporarily just to kind of get a feel for what white tile would look like in the kitchen I think it's it's fine um, I'll include a video clip right here of what the seam looks like like I said it's not perfect but it you really only notice it if you're looking for it in my opinion All right, so I'll show you what the backsplash looks like, and then in the next video clip, I will explain the hack that I was telling you guys about, that if the peel and stick wallpaper keeps falling down, this will help keep it up in place. All right, you see the problem? <laughs> I see a big problem. The peel and stick wallpaper will not stick. I wanted to purposely leave this area to show you what happens. So it will peel off, especially if you have really textured walls. But a hack to keep to stay up there is to use some clear silicone caulk, or you can even use any type of like adhesive. I don't recommend doing this if you're in a rental though. I would definitely make sure that you use something that's paintable if you are gonna do this. That way, if you need to paint over it, you can. You could get like uh, clear paintable caulk. They do sell that at Lowe's. This one's not paintable, but it's all I have on hand. But all you're gonna do is you're just gonna squeeze it out. You're obviously gonna wanna make sure that this is, you know, back up in place. And you're gonna take some on your finger like this, and you're just gonna go right along the edge. This mess. <laughs> She's so funny. So the kids put the two chairs together because they were using that as a couch. And look at Zoe. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Zoe. Zoe. She's like, I am not bothered by you right now. Leave me alone. <gasps> are you a queen? You are. Are you a boop? All right, so I definitely love the tile backsplash. I think it looks really good, especially like from a distance, like it looks like legit tile. Like it has like a good 3D effect. Um, obviously up close, you can see certain seams. It's not gonna be 100% perfect. I mean, it's peel and stick wallpaper for goodness sake. But I do recommend, um, I will say, if you have textured walls, just be aware that it will peel down. You're gonna have to use some type of caulk around the seam. Or heck, I don't even know, this might work. You could use like scotch tape, like a really thin piece of scotch tape just on the, the corners, on the edge. I don't think you'd really notice it, uh, especially like if it's up underneath like the counter and stuff, or the cabinet. But anyway, this is the brand Allen and Roth. This is the Darcy one. Um, they do have others as well, but I think these are $19 original price. I got mine on clearance for four bucks. So I ended up buying all of them when I saw them because I wasn't sure how far it was actually gonna go. But I ended up using three. I forgot to mention that. I used three to do my kitchen, which isn't bad at all. And now I need to do my countertop. Um, so my kitchen island needs to be repainted. I did an epoxy DIY countertop. Turned out great. I did like a live edge. I used like stucco and it turned out so good. However, the epoxy stains so easily. Like if you spill coffee or soda or kids accidentally get paint on the countertop, it soaks in like that. Like you can't even wipe it up fast enough and it'll stain and you can't get it clean and it looks disgusting all the time. So I'm gonna paint it and seal it just using like polycrylic instead, because I know polyacrylic doesn't stain. And um, 
just do a quick DIY project on that. Eventually, y'all know me, I have a million projects in mind, but like time and money is the problem. <laughs> if I had unlimited money and time, I could do all the things. I just don't. So I'm just working slowly but surely. But eventually I do want to rebuild the island, make it a little bigger and do an actual stone countertop and invest, you know, and obviously put some money into the kitchen so it lasts forever. But right now the DIY budget friendly option is just where we're at and that's okay. And we might be there forever. So who knows? But It'll still look good. It'll look good for a little bit anyway. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know it's short and sweet, but I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye, y'all.